Hello everybody, welcome back. Welcome to another video. So today is an exciting day for me because one of my machines, my embroidery machines that I've been waiting for, oh, I wanna say six months maybe, maybe not quite that long, but it feels like a year, is <laughs> finally in and I get to go and pick it up. So I'm super excited. I have this one right here behind me. That's a Janome 3, uh, 5000E and the other one I'm getting is almost exactly the same as this one but um, it doesn't have the large hoop. I think it's only 4000E but it has pretty much everything else that this one has and I love this machine. It embroiders so smoothly like butter. Um, I have not had any issues with it um, so I can't wait for the new one. Uh, my girls also like to embroider um, especially my 12 year old, she uh, loves to use that machine. So I'm so excited because then she can use the other one and then I can use this one. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you along with me to pick up the machine and then I rearrange stuff in this sewing room a little bit. I, I don't know if I have ADHD or what, but I can't stick with the same stuff for too long. <laughs> um, so I'm constantly rearranging, just trying to make it better and improve so it's more smooth for me as I work down here. Um, so I will show you that and I will also show you the unboxing of my new machine. Alright, so let's go get the new machine. <laughs> oh, From the umbrella. This is the worst day to go anywhere. Just stay home. <laughs> and not go get my machine. Oh well, it is what it is. So it is pouring up there. So we waited all summer when it was nice and beautiful and warm and sunny till this awful, awful rainy day to go get my machine. But, oh well, at least I'm getting it. even though it is pouring and so, so cold. But I still wanted to show you guys the drive to the store because fall is just so beautiful where I live. Um, the trees are turning and um, the corn is all done growing and <laughs> it's just such a beautiful drive. With all the excitement, I forgot to record um, as we were getting the machine because these tables got my attention. <laughs> these are nice cutting tables that I would really like to get, but they're so, so expensive. This one is over a thousand dollars and this little small one, I think it was like 800. Okay, so we got the machine. I was going to record going into the store and getting it and then putting it in the car, but the weather is just so beautiful right now <laughs> that um, I didn't record any of it. But anyway, we got the machine that's in the back of the car and now we're heading home to unpack it. So that should be fun. Here is the machine in my room so we're gonna go and open the magic box <laughs>
top floor. I do not like styrofoam. goodness look at my face here you think I'm a little bit happy about getting this machine <laughs> I am so excited okay so this is the Janome 400e it came with this instructional booklet and all this stuff in here except for the hoops which I'm kind of disappointed it only came with this big hoop and these two are optional I thought it actually came with all three of them so that is a little disappointment but so that's that. Here is a little quick chart reference of all the options that the machine can do. And then there's some on the back. I have the lighting in here. The little clamps for the large hoop which I really like these really help these nifty scissors my best friend four of the bobbins a little bit of oil uh, needles that's the extra bobbin holder and all these little things and chart reference, this is all the embroidery files. Let's see if I can get a better that are on the machine. Let's see inside. And then hold on. Ah, this lighting, I'm so sorry about the lighting. It's reflective. And this alphabet, really cute, that's also included. And then these little shapes. Okay, and then here are the alphabets that are on the machine. The monograms also. That's cool. Okay. And then there's the CD. Oh, two of them. This one has the template sheets. And this is the instructional. And here is the large hoop that it came with. Oh, and also a cover. These are not my favorite they're very I haven't opened this one so I don't know if it's as stiff as the one that came with the other machine it was so stiff it's almost I can't even use it so I just use uh, blankets to cover it up instead of this but you know this one seems a little less stiff so hopefully it will work and then here is my new baby can't wait to uh, to plug it in
going to make some room for the new machine. I'm gonna move this old one away. I'm gonna retire my old and faithful. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna put the new machine here. moment of truth will it start or will it not start <laughs> so here we go and then she's on cool so you saw me use my finger too control this but it actually comes with this nice stylus and I recommend using this instead of your finger so you don't get oil on here um, like the older machines didn't come with this so you had to use your finger and over time the sensor it kind of doesn't work as well with all the oil from your finger that gets on there but this works great Okay, so this is the hoop that came with the machine, and that is called the SQ20B, which measures about 7.9 inches by 7.9. So it's a nice big area. And then this is the one that I use a lot. Um, and this one is the RE20B, which is 5.5 by 7.9. And um, so I'm going to have to get one of these to go with the new machine. Just most of my embroidery fits perfectly in this one. Although this will be very handy for making some of the bigger toys. Or like for embroidering pillows or blankets. Um, when I have a bigger design. So this will work better than the smaller one. But Okay. Of course, I have to um, embroider something <laughs> to make sure it works correctly. So I had a leftover towel from my um, fall towels that I was making. So I figured I will make a Halloween towel for my bathroom. Um, and here I wanted to show you how many different uh, designs you can find on Etsy. And they're all so cool and beautiful and funny. And um, so you can buy any of them um, just make sure you buy the correct file for your machine and um, you can embroider it on your items and that was a USB drive stick I wanted to show you that's what I use uh, to get the files from the computer onto the machine it does not come with the machine so you have to get one separately And here I wanted to show you a really cool feature on the machine uh, where you can select um, each step to highlight on the screen as it's embroidering so you know exactly where uh, it's embroidering. And here as I was going to embroider I forgot that it's a new machine so the bobbin thread was all empty. Um, so I had to uh, refill the bobbin. And here I wanted to show you although you can't really see but on the bobbin um, you can see there is a letter J so you know which way um, to put it into the machine so you don't put it upside down.
if it would be helpful to you guys, um, I can go step by step and explain how to uh, wind the bobbin or how to thread the machine. So let me know in the comments if that's something that um, you guys would be interested in and I can make a video on that. machine works great um, it's very quiet and there was no issues embroidering the Halloween towel can see on the screen how it's following each step so it shows you exactly where you are so in case the thread breaks or you need to stop it for whatever reason um, you can resume in the correct spot because it will show you exactly where it is so I chose the Betts uh, Happy Halloween embroidery design to match my Halloween um, decor so if you guys haven't seen my decorate with me Halloween 2022 go ahead and check out that video So as you can see, the machine worked great and embroidered perfectly onto the towel. Um, so I am super, super happy with it. Uh, there was no issues and it works very smooth and very soft and it is very, very quiet too. So, um, all right. So now I have a nice Halloween towel to put in my bathroom. I highly recommend Janome machines. Um, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I've just, I've always had Janome. So I really have no experience with any other embroidery machines. Um, I bought my first one in 2009, uh, one of the older machines. And then I bought two more and they did great. They worked good for so, so long. And I embroidered so many things on them. I probably put those machines to test uh, more than they were designed to do and they worked fine. They're slowly starting to um, to go. Um, I'm hoping with you know keeping up with their and cleaning them and uh, making sure all the frou-frous are not stuck in there um, that they'll continue working but uh, I cannot embroider names on those older machines anymore because they do loop a little bit and then it just doesn't look nice and clean so uh, I'm hoping that these two new machines um, will do just as well as the old ones did. Um, so far, so good. I'm very, very happy with them. So I highly recommend them. If you would like to get an Ajinomi machine um, or any embroidery machine, it is so much fun. You can do so many things. You can embroider towels, pillows, make toys. Um, I started my small Etsy business um, using those, those old Ajinomi machines. and. I've done baby blankets, 
personalized baby blankets and it has worked out great for me and to this day so since 2009 i've had etsy and to this day i keep doing it and it's fun and brings a little extra money and it's something i enjoy so um i hope these machines will last and be just as reliable as the old ones were again if you're interested i highly recommend them um they're not too terribly expensive and again it's so much fun using them and there's so many things you can do also i forgot i wanted to show you the cover that came with it and see if it's any better than the one that came with the other machine i really don't like that one it's just too hard and it doesn't really fold around the machine so let's check out this one and see how this one works i'm hoping it's not as hard as the other one the old machines came with really cool covers um, and they were shaped to the machine so it covered them perfectly these i don't know let's see no, I think it's the same as the first one. See, it's, it's very, very hard. Oh, I'll show you. See, when you go off, when you go to put it on the machine, it's just, I don't like it um, maybe because I'm used to the other covers they were actually like made for the machine like a glove so you just put it on and those were awesome so I really don't like this but it is what it is or you can just use a blanket like here I'll show you on this machine I just put a blanket over it and that works just as well but I guess if you don't care then that's fine I just really don't like it um, but, so that's the only downsize to to this machine. I think it's the cover. <laughs> Sometimes the original design is the best and I wish they didn't change it. I wish they kept the old covers and also the threader. Um, this one is much better, like I said before, than the newest one. The newest one is so hard to use. I can't figure it out. Um, so like I said, sometimes I wish they just kept the old design and just improved on other things but it is what it is it still works great so I'm happy and I wanted to give you guys a tour of my sewing room and the few things I've changed so the thread and all that is still is in the same place and then here is my two new babies my two new machines as you can see, I put blankets over the new one because I really don't like that cover that it came with. But anyway, all right, this all stayed the same on my fabric here. And then this is the old machine that is just gonna rest for now to, unless something happens to either one of them that if I need a backup, then I will use this one. And then here is the station with these two. And this is my ironing station here. And then I have all the stuff I need for mailing. So these are my little tags that I attach with my baby blankets when I saw them. Um, I use this nifty gun that my husband got for me few years ago for Christmas and uh, I used that to attach the tags to the blankets. So I cut them out so they look like this and then I put them together and use this to attach it to the blanket tape for the labels. These are my combs to comb the blanket parts 
so when I sew you don't see the seam these are just extra of the tag things that go with the tag gun and tape so that's in here in here I have uh, mailing envelopes and then these little stickers that I put on my packages. This one. Um, so there's more of them. And then lint collector, so I can um, make sure there's no lint left on the blankets. And then in this one, I have more envelopes. So I like using these because they're um, easy to see. Sometimes the uh, packages get lost in the mail or whatever so um it's easy to spot them so i like to use these and then these are the little bags that i put the blankets in and then i put them in this one so in case the the outside envelope gets damaged or whatever at least this is still in there to protect the blanket so that's that my ribbons are still here the little booth for taking pictures and then that's still the same. Okay, so what I changed is this table. I moved, it was this way before, so I moved it this way uh, because my daughter got a sewing machine for her birthday. She wanted one. So now, and she likes to make skirts for herself. And my 12 year old is into making dresses. So um, I figured this way we can both sit at this table and, and use our sewing machine. So this is my sewing machine. And that is hers and then what's nice about this table is we keep it open when we are cutting fabric because we need the the whole space but if I don't need to cut fabric ah uh, this is really hard hold on I can just close it ta-da now the table is smaller and we have more room to walk here and we can close this part. So this part closes and opens to give us more room or less. And then on this side of the room, I also moved this table. I switched it around. Um, I really like using this table because it's higher and uh, it helps with my back. When I use this table, I have to bend over too much. And then this one I can adjust as high as I want or as low as I want. So I really like using that table. One day the idea is to turn this into like an island and make it up, not make it higher. So um, when I'm cutting fabric, I don't have to bend over so much. So that's that. Now here, I used to have two desks and on one was the sewing machine and on the other I kept the computer, but now I have the computer up there. And then in this area, I in the other room, I have an old sewing machine that came with a with its own desk and the sewing machine like you can put it in the desk and then close it all up and it looks just like a piece of furniture or you can open it all up and pull the sewing machine out and it has it's it's like built into the table so it's really nice when you're sewing um, because you just have straight surface the only problem is the the sewing machine broke um, so I haven't been using it that's why it's not in here yet but I'm hoping that Scott my husband can fix it and if not, I'm hoping he can take this sewing machine and take the other one out of the desk and attach this one to the desk. And then it will go right there. It was a perfect spot for it. And then it would free up this table. So that these are all the changes and the rest is all still the same. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me un uh, unpack my new baby, <laughs> my new machine. And I hope I gave you some inspiration if you were 
thinking or debating if you should get an embroidery machine, um, I highly recommend you do if you want to. Um, I love mine and there's just so many possibilities. You can get it for just for fun, just for hobby, or you can actually do what I do and once you find your niche, you can open an Etsy account and an Etsy shop and sell your stuff that you make. So again, thank you so much. Thank you so much for all of you that have subscribed. I can't believe my channel is growing. It makes me so happy that you guys are enjoying my videos. And for those of you that haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button. Also, um, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you have any uh, suggestions of videos I should make, what you would like to see, please let me know. Um, other than that, thank you again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!